All right, how we doing? It's Wednesday. Uh, it's the day before Thanksgiving, and uh, I have a very special guest today. Uh, my my man here is an ex professional skateboarder uh, who I met last year when my life was falling apart, and then we actually met in person when I was in Pittsburgh over the summer. So introduce yourself. What's up? Um, uh... I'm CJ Smith or Cam Smith. Um, yeah. I I do custom cars now. I used to be a professional skateboarder when I was, just say from like ten till I was like in my twenties. So mm -hmm. <laughs> now I do cars. I have cool friends, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you and can see. I was, yeah. I was <laughs> this on, is I was actually this is my board right here. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah. I've never skateboarded in my entire life. I have no like my inner ears are not right or something because i never i have lose my balance a lot <laughs> Listen, so, uh, i lost my balance a lot so <laughs> yeah you know so um tell people where they can find you online uh you can find me at mad diesel guy on instagram or on tiktok okay and we did a video on uh your channel a couple yeah. months back uh where we kind of just talked about a bunch of random shit yeah, we just talked about random stuff, the movie industry and everything, and how, you know, it's kind of falling apart a little bit. <laughs> well, I mean, it's always been falling apart. We're just, we could just see it better now, you know? <laughs> yeah, I and, actually, I've seen movies recently on like a newer TV, and I'm like, oh, I need to get a different TV. <laughs> yeah, I saw uh, uh, Dawn of the Dead when it played in the 3D, um, when it's all blown up in HD and everything, you could tell a lot of stuff, like, the actor from Martin plays the Hispanic guy in the beginning, but he's not Hispanic in real life. And it's super obvious that he's wearing brown face. <laughs> As I said, well, I was watching something on Peacock yesterday mm -hmm. and I got like a 70 inch TV and they like fucking cut out half the fucking TV. And it just, oh. <laughs> yeah, it was like some reality show. And I was like, mm -hmm. what's the point of having the fucking TV? I thought you were supposed to edit that shit. Come on. Nope. What are you, what are you getting millions of dollars a year for? <laughs> Billion so dollars. tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Yes. And uh, we are watching a Thanksgiving themed horror movie mm -hmm. uh, called Thanks Killing from 2009. Have you ever seen this before? Uh, I saw it when I was a kid and then I just recently watched it again. Yeah, when we decided this. There's not a lot of uh, Thanksgiving themed horror movies. There's not a lot of Thanksgiving themed movies at all, actually. Yeah. Well, I mean, I always looked at my favorite Thanksgiving movie is um, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Okay. With uh, Steve Martin and John Candy, I love that movie. Um, but like when it comes to horror, you know, you've got, you've got this, you've got Blood Freak, which is like a dude, uh, or you know, falls in with a religious girl and like smokes a weed that gives him a, like a turkey head, and it's awful. It's from like the uh, the seventies, and the movie ends with like a disclaimer by the producer who's smoking a cigarette and coughing, and they leave it in the movie. It's fucking crazy. Uh, there's Blood Rage. Um, Trying to think what other ones. I don't know. There's not a ton of them. The, the, the best one is the Eli Roth fake Thanksgiving trailer that was in Grindhouse, where he did it like an 80s slasher movie. Did you ever see that one? No, I haven't. <laughs> oh, check it out. It's really, really fucking good. Uh, you know, did you, you saw Grindhouse, right? Yes. In the middle of it, when you saw it in the theater, there was fake trailers, one by Edgar Wright, one by uh, Rob Zombie, and one by Eli Roth. And Eli Roth's is a uh, a slasher movie set on thanksgiving but they filmed it in romania while he was doing uh hostile 2 still at the time but it's got some great gags in it uh there's a girl who's doing a strip tease while jumping on a trampoline and the killer is under the trampoline and he sticks the knife up as she jumps and does a split and lands crotch first on the knife <laughs> <laughs> i was saying the other day i wanted to do one called kilgram and he comes over on the slave uh, slave flower <laughs> uh, I, don't know, I don't know how i don't know how critics would like that one <laughs> no well you know so this movie was made in 2009 uh it was shot in 11 days for a three thousand dollar budget um i have seen this before you said you saw it when you were a kid uh i saw it at an underbelly meeting my old uh youtube show back in 2010 uh we used to go to justin silverman's house uh before a shoot and go over our notes and scripts and all that kind of stuff. And we just wound up watching it and it made me angry that that movie was made and out there and I hadn't made anything yet. Um, so it inspired me to write like a bunch of like shitty little, so bad it's good wannabe horror scripts, you know? 
I saw it on, I saw it on Netflix as a kid. Okay. So like, cause like Netflix when it was first, uh, when it was first doing like the streaming stuff, mm-hmm. it was big on all the indie horror movies. So yeah. we'd like you'd have like one Halloween movie and one, you know, Night of the Living Dead or mm-hmm. whatever, and then boom, hey, there's Gangster of the Dead. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Some other Hood of, crap. Hood of the Dead. I yeah, remember when yeah. that was on there. And yeah. yes, you got all that stuff. The one thing I do have to point out in this movie, though, I know it's like in the middle of the movie, but mm-hmm. remember how I told you before that I said is um uh friday the 13th uh part five is the mm. the best porn you know porn, oh yeah mm. porn should you would say yeah. porn you know uh shot in a movie mm-hmm. uh this was of, of like a sex tape and everything yeah, yeah this is the worst i've ever seen in a oh, movie. oh yeah the the sex scene in the the part with the the turkey it was just so they could put the line you bit stuffed but then he uses a condom which i thought was funny because even though he was going to kill her the tur- the evil turkey was still practicing safe sex <laughs> listen he didn't want to have a he didn't want to have little chickens around you know what no, I mean? little no, turks I, yeah little, <laughs> little turkey babies um yeah. so yeah so this movie uh uh starts with tits mm-hmm. um it's it's set back in like the 1600s and they got like some milf porn star to just show her boobs off in the beginning and uh the turkey is a puppet and it's it's a terrible looking puppet oh yeah (laughs) but there's something charming about that too because like this is one of those movies that like it's it's bad and and it's not like the best bad movie i ever saw but everybody's conviction they're all playing it straight and i can at least respect the fact that they're playing it straight over some movies like I, i did uh terror at blood fart lake was one of the reviews I did. And this movie kind of has that feeling as well, where they're very very much trying to be South Park, trying to be Family Guy with some of the jokes. Like the repeating of the John Benet Ramsey joke is just weird. It's like a little kid was murdered. Like, I I, when I saw I saw that and I was like in, I was thinking in my head in two thousand and like two thousand nine when this came mm-hmm. out. So anybody who was a teenager that would see this or an adult wouldn't yeah. really know about that joke. Yeah, That's what exactly. rather the fuck out of me. I was like, uh, I know what that is. I learned that in middle school, but like, mm-hmm. I don't think any kid would be like, ha, huh, you know what I mean? This isn't like, you know, saying something about OJ Simpson or something, yeah. you know what I mean? Like something. Well, no, because I, when I was still running the theaters, I had employees who had never heard of OJ Simpson. They didn't know anything about that. So yeah. One girl didn't know who Arnold Schwarzenegger was. She had never heard of Arnold Schwarzenegger before. And she was, fun. she was 17. What year was this? This was last December, January. And I'm 20. Well, she's a little young. Yeah, but uh, I don't I don't know. You've never done like even if you'd like okay, even if you've never he was the governor, like the terminator, mm-hmm. even if you do the voice, it's through cultural osmosis at this point that people should know who, who that is. I'm pretty sure a guy that has stuffed her up before uh <laughs> has said that <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> but uh yeah, so this uh this movie is about a, a uh Native American turkey that gets back at the pilgrims by killing people and then he'll come back every 500 years but the math doesn't work out when our group of teenagers or college students come back uh you have your your jock you have your slutty girl you have your smart girl you have your big fat party animal and you have your nerd and it's like why would these people hang out together I understand why the the fat guy and the jock mm-hmm. would hang out together. Yeah. That's a that's a normal because he's probably part of the fucking football team too. Yeah. But like when I saw the nerd, I was just like, this is the kid that like everybody stayed around of. But like the worst part about this movie is he's not like somebody maybe around my age playing mm-hmm. this college because they're college students. Oh, it seems yeah. like, and uh, you know, it, this 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 guy's like thirty. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he's thirty. He's bald. His hairline was as bad as mine is. You know. <laughs> oh no, his hairline is probably bad as mine after I bleached oh. the fuck out of it for twenty, you know, <laughs> ten years. You know. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just forty one years old and it's starting to fail me now. You know. <laughs> I, I wish I had that hair. What are you talking about? Why do you think I got a hat on? <laughs> I gotta get a haircut. My hair's getting long. So yeah. So this is our our group uh uh who has the slowest the the dumbest slow motion walking shot where like they come out of school. The fat dude rips his shirt off. Everybody's like making bad jokes. And then everything goes in slow motion of them walking for like two seconds and then back to regular motion. And I was like, what? 
what is going on here? <laughs> is no one going to talk about how the fat guy for one second of there when they're talking and the nerd kid comes up and everything? Mm -hmm. uh, the 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 white beater, you know, the wife beaters, were, yeah. you know, he ripped it off. It wasn't he wasn't he didn't have it on anymore. It was yeah. completely fucking gone. I'm like, why did you take it off? <laughs> it's a continuity error. It's like in, uh, going back to Dawn of the Dead. The only reason that they added the shot where uh, he jams the um, screwdriver into the ear was because they were missing a shot to, for him to lose the jacket that was wrapped around his waist. So they just filmed that so that the next shot, somebody get pulled off, it, it wasn't there. I was like, that's great. That's just covering up the thing. So they're going out into the middle of the woods to uh, to have a party. They're not even doing that. They're just going to her parent, the girl, and home, and they broke down. Yeah, uh, I thought they were going to like have like a party. No, they went. They went and broke. They went and were driving home from college, and okay. then you know, as me being a car guy, and I saw it, and I was just like, "This isn't how this goes." They mm -hmm. they overheated the jeep. And he's just okay. like, you know, and she makes the joke as maybe it's a flat tire, you know, the dumb, the dumb slut, you know, should have yeah. been a blonde girl. What they should have had was instead of that stupid girl that played her in the movie, mm -hmm. they should have had the porn star actress who was in no, the first part of the movie. No, because they probably had her for one day oh, and they she just was got too the show. She was too expensive. <laughs> oh, that's what I was saying, you know. It's like, have you ever seen the Canadian movie Things? Yes. Where they hired Amber Lynn, the, the 80s porn star. And none of her scenes are connected to the movie at all. And they don't even, they get a porn star and they don't even have her do nudity in it. It was just like so bizarre. <laughs> I don't know. I like, I liked, I was just like, I was like, I literally sat there and they're like, yeah. Cause they showed they, in the, like, when we went, you should go back to like when he rips off his shirt and she brings up her shirt and stuff and shows yeah. her bra. And I'm like, you really got a girl who had no breasts at all to be in this movie. <laughs> like, I'm I, not gonna I be think this dude just picked people at random that he knew and said, do you want to be in a killer Turkey movie? I, Hey, I do the same thing with my stuff. I, I, you know, I'll just I, throw in whoever I know will show up. Hey, if I was anybody in those in the first part of the movie where they're showing like all the, the all the like kids at college and stuff, I mm -hmm. bet none of those people got paid at all. I bet they were oh, all no. they were actually the guy was actually smoking a cigarette there and they were actually all talking. <laughs> I'd be like, if I saw that how many years later, hey, that's me. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I didn't know I was in this movie. Yeah. Um so yeah, no, I think more movies could be fixed by people taking care of their cars. <laughs> oh yeah, you wouldn't, you know, if you there's a lot of horror movies where if you did not like you know, just just take it once. You know, you're supposed to get a new oil change. You're like, yeah. yep. <laughs> just go get it. Uh, but so they decide instead to camp out on the side of the road. And the one girl you have in the back of the Jeep after going home from college, you have yeah. a bunch of tents. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and then the, the, the one girl calls her dad and her dad's the local sheriff. Mm. And he, he's like, this coffee tastes like shit. What'd you do? Shit in it. And then there's poop in yeah. the coffee pot. But it looks like cat poop, not people poop. No, it it looks like my little dog took a shit in that. Yeah. <laughs> and then she's like, I want a divorce. And he's like, OK, bye. And I was just like, all right, well, that's the end of that scene. Uh, our, our heroes get out of the van and they find a uh, sign that's supposed to be 400 years old, but it's obviously not. And <laughs> it, it reminds the nerd of the story of the evil turkey, where then we go into... Uh, flash animation like it looks like you, you... <laughs> i i don't i don't i didn't understand it because i was like i understand they're supposed to do like a background thing but i'm like you mm -hmm. you had the puppet yeah you couldn't have used the puppet or like anybody else who isn't on screen like i'm sorry but like i understand you have a small budget but mm -hmm. if you like back then if you posted on craig's like saying looking for actors you yeah. know you would have a, but it says free but like free food mm -hmm. or something like that or whatever and it's in your local area you know you would have people there i know because i did oh, yeah i did skateboarding things and that's how mm -hmm. they did it like none of like any of the skate videos and stuff at all um like none of like ever act is let's say were like famous actors in them that like had like a little skit scene and stuff and we got yeah. somebody else to do it that wasn't a skater you had you had um you know you had like people from like local acting things and they did yeah. it for free because they were desperate to be in something well <laughs> i remember when bam was doing the cky videos back in the day in philly and going out to love park and watching them shoot that way before jackass you know oh love well love park is a skate it was a skateboarding spot i know because mm -hmm. i used to skate there as a yeah. kid and everything it's a it's a huge uh skate spot until you know they uh, decided to say there's too many bums around you know what we should do uh, make it all grass so then all the bums yeah. can go and actually sleep in the park. 
<laughs> but yeah, so I just remember a lot of those skate videos, like somebody finding out through like a message board. And uh, but movies are the same thing. I've showed up to be an extra or a zombie and stuff just to go and hang out and and be part of some movie projects and whatnot. It looks um, better on your background, especially if you're being a paid extra. You can't yeah, be an yeah. extra in a movie without being a free extra in a movie. No, That's I got it. paid for uh, Transformers 2. I got paid for Dead Man Down. I got paid for, well, Unbreakable, but the scene was used in glass. And I got paid for Do No Harm, the TV show. Anytime, okay. anytime right. things filmed in Philly, I would always get a call from Diane Heary from Heary Casting do you want to come be an extra in this or something? So that was fun back in the day. Yeah, I didn't get paid for any of the stupid stunts that I ever did. I always wonder when I hear these like kids, they were like, oh yeah, I got paid like a grand a day and we shot for five days to do this like skate thing and stuff. And I was like, I got free food. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> I mean, you know, you know, even like low budget stuff, we would get people food and gas if we couldn't pay them a day rate. But now everybody gets paid like at least $100 or 125 is a day rate. Um, so yeah, so our, the, we have our backstory in the crude animation, which basically sets up that the, uh, you know, the turkey, uh, there was a shaman, and he was evil, and he cursed the land, and I was like, wait a minute, if the, if the shaman was so powerful, how did they lose the land to white people? Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's because they say in the later of the scene, he was, I would have, I, he, later in one of the scenes, he goes and says, he's like, we gave you guys stuff back <laughs> Yeah, it's like, he's like, you guys got casinos. Isn't that good enough? Like, yeah, it's the, funniest... I love that the, pup, the puppets kind of like triumph the insult comic dog as well. Yes, like, it's that kind of puppet. Um, and the score just sounds like me touching a bunch of buttons on my phone or on my microwave. Like, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> do you ever notice though, like when he's like using the puppet and stuff, like mm. when he's trying to move the mouth, it doesn't move and the head's just moving. Yeah. It's... <laughs> It's like not even like it's supposed to move. But, but that's why I like when people don't realize that he's a talking turkey at parts in the movie. Yeah. You know, he's, like, <laughs> he's the, oh, hey, it's a midget. <laughs> yeah. 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 He's like, oh, yeah. I didn't know she was friends with a midget. That's an offensive term. <laughs> Is it? Little person. I don't know. I, you know, what I ever said don't, about anything to do with Wee Man and stuff, he never complained. Don't, don't use, don't use the M word. <laughs> oh, okay. So little person. <laughs> Unless you put an A at the end of it. Midja. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we meet our homeless guy. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, the one thing that I weirded out about it, I don't think this guy was an actor because I was looking at his teeth. And oh, yeah. This and a half of him here. And he had like the infected gums right here. Mm-hmm. And I was like, it was like the, like the brown tooth coming down. I was like, who'd they get? <laughs> They just walked out into the woods and said, do you want to be in a movie, you know? I mean, there was a shack there. I mean, like how he walks into the shack mm-hmm. after his do- like, dog runs off and stuff in the movie. Yeah. And the funniest thing about it, I like thought about this and I saw his teeth and I'm like, they really went up to a homeless man and said, hey, would you like to be in a movie and be the hero? And or, you know- just, or just like, you know, again, like I put people in stuff that I've met. Like there was a, there's a dude in my coin slots trailer who um, he looks like AVGN if AVGN wasn't left in to cook long enough. Like yeah. one of the failed experiment versions in Alien 4. So I put him in it and he worked at Walmart overnight. I was like, this guy's so fucking weird looking. I want to put him in something. So maybe they just knew this dude from around town and were like, do you want to come be in a movie? Um, I can, is, I could yeah. do a parody of the, the the prequels. I mean, the sorry, the sequels of the Star Wars movie because um, there is a guy that works at my local. I don't think he works at the Walmart anymore, but I'm friends mm-hmm. with him. But he is because he dresses up every single time to go to the Steel City Con. He is yeah. Fat Finn. He is Fat Finn. He is a bigger fat dude, fin. but he's 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 a bigger dude. He's a bigger African American guy, mm-hmm. but he looks exactly like the actor, <laughs> like he exactly like the actor. And I'm like, dude, you look at the guy from Star Wars. He's like, yeah, I'm Fat Finn. And I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, everybody calls me Fat Finn. <laughs> and I'm wow. like, what? And so it's like it's hilarious to think about. It's there good is that everybody has a niche, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and so this dude and his dog remind me of the dude in cabin fever with the dog and the dog gets infected first and yes. that leads to you know um so uh yeah the, the the dog pisses like in uh uh nightmare on Elm street uh part three or four where the piss brings freddie back <laughs> three or four i don't remember it's one of them I can't, um, I can't remember to be honest with you after like the twos and stuff it kind of yeah. gets uh it, it, gets, it gets weird <laughs> I, I mean i like three and four but yeah so the dog pisses and brings the evil turkey back from the dead 
and then the turkey kills the dog and then throws a rabbit at our main characters and it falls into fire and the the, ki- the nerd can tell from looking in the fire that, that there are beak marks on the rabbit what did you see did you see though you're forgetting the girl went and talked to her dad on the phone remember well yeah and, and that- then then he showed up and she flipped out and then she went mm-hmm. to she said, i just saw that turkey that he was talking about and yeah. ran into the tent and then then the rabbit came oh my god <laughs> like the you know, like the I did like the line where the, the the girl's calling her dad from the Jeep and he's like, yo, pass me a beer. And he's like, what did you say? You know, that, you're, that passing in a car is illegal. And it was like, <laughs> it wasn't the drinking and driving. It was the passing of it. I was like, all right, that's stupid. That's funny. You know, but that's like your mom telling you, hey, you can't have that fucking dome light on. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to get pulled over. Exactly. <laughs> I believe that shit when I was a kid too, you know, or it's, it's like not- when you're drunk. When you're driving, you don't know where you are. You turn the radio down, and it helps. Maybe in your mind, you think you could focus better. <laughs> uh, like what's the or like? Uh, did you ever did you ever hear this and stuff? Or your mom told you, "Don't take a shower when it's lightning out." <laughs> you yeah, get a mm-hmm. lightning. You're fucking kidding. It's like, nah, it's not how that works. Karen. The lightning's gonna hit your house, go through the pipes, come out in the water, and then you'll be electrocuted. And that's how it works. <laughs> mm-hmm. My power would be I'd become electrocute. <laughs> <laughs> That's like I wanted to be, I wanted to do the, uh, uh, I've never cosplayed as anything, but I thought it'd be funny to do like uh, the Locutus from Star Trek The Next Generation, but like do it like Japanese, like the Kwai, and I'd be Locutus. (laughs) Do like I do, uh, you're the, uh, is that, is he dressed up as an anime girl? (laughs) Yeah, Mm -hmm. as a Borg, a (laughs) bald-headed anime girl Borg. Oh, that's um, that's an interesting one, but you know there's a category though for that. Oh, remember. I'm sure there is. Remember, the remember. Thing, there, there was two things I've always wanted to see somebody cosplay as. I've always wanted to see somebody cosplay as the Gemini, which is the half uh, Batman, half Joker Prince uh, character from the Bat Dance music video, okay. or I want to see somebody d- uh, dress as the test sh- photo of Nicolas Cage as Superman, where his hair is long and awful, and he's wearing a puka shell necklace. That'd be funny as a girl yeah. to do that shit. I would, I would, I could see that doing that. Well, uh, remember, remember though, ladies out there, remember, porn is better than the than the magazines because there's a category for you, and you yes. will never not be loved. <laughs> I just gotta point that out. Yeah, I guess, <laughs> yeah, I guess they still do magazines because I was in a truck stop coming back from Pittsburgh, and I was looking at all the titles of these magazines, and I'm just like, who still bought? Well, I guess people who buy them would be people who aren't allowed to have a computer connection <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah yeah that well it was that's like when i went i redid my like gamestop thing and mm-hmm. they said to me they're like would you like would you like the physical for an actual five extra five dollars or yeah. would you like the digital comic book and i'm like the, the what so like, what's the difference and they're like one's digital and i said i said just save another tree i was like yeah. why would you who the hell like i i don't even think i ever got them in the mail when i did have that mm-hmm. subscription when they used to be free <laughs> I yes. mean, I, I, I like, I, I, I have digital comics on my laptop, but for the most part, I like to have something in my hand and, you know, that's a comp book. That's a comp book though. Yeah. That's yeah. completely different than, yeah. um, you know, the playboy for some, yeah. cause you, you know, that's like, listen, um, you didn't have to pay 1999. Uh, just yeah. go on, you know, Pornhub. Yeah, <laughs> she's, exactly. she, yeah. she's there, that's like, and that's that's like, like when see, you're 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 young enough to because you're 20. How old are you? 24. 24. I'm 41. We okay. used to see like uh, when I was a kid, we used to play in the woods a lot when I was in like elementary school, and we would always find like porn magazines stashed in the woods, and that was like a thing that always happened is there would always be porn. And like, even when I moved and stuff, there would just be porn in the woods. And I figured it was always like kids who had it, who, who couldn't keep it at home because their parents would find it. They yeah. would stash yeah. it in the woods. But I put it on Facebook, like maybe two years ago. Like, has this ever happened to anybody else? And like people from like different countries said, yeah, that was a thing. So I wrote a, I wrote a short film called Nothing Good Happens in the Woods. <laughs> and it's about the, you know, the, the woods porn and he's convinced that there's a woods porn fairy who just leaves like porn in the woods but it just turns into something else but um we, how did we get on we're talking about minorities and porn and <laughs> this is a thanksgiving movie okay thanksgiving People. Movie. um the girl makes it away from the turkey pretty easily oh yeah she just runs <laughs> 
Yeah, uh, they um, and then they go home uh, to oh, and the turkey gets picked up by a dude on the side of the road. Oh, before that will happen. Well, hold on, though. Remember okay. this, though, before it actually happens. They go and they wake up in the morning. They go back. Everybody goes mm-hmm. to bed and everything. And it seems yeah. like the slutty girl is actually like hitting on to the fat dude. Mm-hmm. Um, But he falls asleep for some fucking reason, not in a yeah, tent. Yeah just falls asleep outside and he wakes up yeah. to the fucking damn homeless dude with the gun fucking pointed in his face and mm-hmm. then he's just like he's like what the fuck are you talking about you crazy man don't you see the turkey shit on your yeah. fucking chest oh and that's the- right because it's shit on his chest yeah but here's the yeah. funniest thing though the turkey shit was bigger than the fucking shit that was in the fucking coffee pot because well, it was evil Oh, oh, hell shits are bigger. It's all the sulfur. That literally looked like dog shit. Just imagine <laughs> that for them. Is you, that's what they had to do is get a dog to shit on it. And if the turkey was so evil, why didn't it just kill them while they were sleeping? Yeah, yeah, that doesn't make any fucking sense. I don't oh. no, no, sorry, sorry. The homeless man with the gun scared him away. He's like, I yeah. gotta get out of here. I'm gonna oh, go okay. hide. Yeah. His dog is dead and he wants revenge. So then they they uh they go home. And uh, we go to the the football player's house first because you have these scenes in the beginning when they're driving in the jeep the first time. You have like these weird character moments where the actually football- actually no, they go to the slutty girl's house first. They go to the slutty girl's house first. Yeah, because they're dropping. I just every- watched this this morning too. Yeah, I wa- I watched it a couple. I watched it like <laughs> two hours ago. Um, but they go to the slutty girl's house first because they're dropping everybody off. They drop. He drops okay. everybody off. Drops everybody off, and they have the slutty girl. And then he goes. They do that stupid fucking joke about the little girl's death again. Again, yeah, it's the second time. <laughs> yeah, like you know. Uh, so that is the that is that's the second time that they do the joke, but. Mm-hmm. It, it it doesn't make any sense on why they fucking do the joke. I, um, I well then they do it again at the end, but they mess it up, and I guess it's like the rule of threes. But um, they do these character moments earlier where the football player is like, my dad and I don't have a good relationship because I'm not the starting football player, and then the the fat guy is like, my dad died, but I have my mom. And it's like these weird little character beats that you have. He says, my little mom. His little mom. Also, yeah. see, nobody talks about the fucking nerdy guy's family at all. Yeah. Or the it's or like. No, it's be- dude- yeah, it's better that we don't know about fucking. You talk. You said about earlier. You said about AGVN fucking knockoff. Mm-hmm. That he literally yeah. looks like they took. They wait. They just copied and pasted. It. <laughs> like the just like all the. It's the typical fucking nerd. The, like, it, like yeah, the button up shirt and all that. And he's like, he's like, uh, you know sneezing into his hand and like doing he's like always weird... lipping his fucking lips and move i'm like dude like not all nerdy people are fucking big bang theory you know not... <laughs> well, why couldn't he be more like the big bang theory fucking yeah. batman shirt <laughs> it's all you fucking needed batman yeah. shirt like... so uh the, so they uh the the jock guy goes home and uh he his mom is happy to see him he goes out in the back and he lies to his dad and, and say he actually is the starting quarterback and the last thing that his dad is happy for him a lie he's happy about a lie just as he gets killed by the t- turkey <laughs> who, who uh, is carving his neck yeah like a fucking turkey he doesn't like just go like this he just goes <laughs> mm-hmm. and then the mom is already dead inside that was a good i'm sorry yeah. that was the best kill of this fucking movie because mm-hmm. she's like she's her eyes fucking poked out and everything yeah. and she's standing there and i'm like that's actually pretty that's like halloween that's what i was yeah, thinking of bit. when i but we, we, we glossed over the turkey gets picked up by a dude on the side of the road and the the, the, the dude doesn't realize it's turkey and it looks like the nerd it looks like the nerdy guy is playing that character as well and he's like uh grass cash your ass and the turkey basically is gonna suck this dude off but instead, he puts a shotgun to the guy's face and says, call your family and tell them goodbye. And as the guy's saying goodbye to his kids and his wife, he fucking blows his head off. <laughs> the best, I love the one part where the fucking sheep actually, all the sheep look up. Yeah. I was like, oh, look, they actually it's got some the worst part about this though is like they couldn't like go to the go to walmart and get mm-hmm. a fucking shotgun they had to go to walmart no okay don't spend 80 dollars. you're gonna spend 19.99 on a fucking yep. bb gun yeah <laughs> that's like and i would think with hell like because it, it's a foul mouth turkey and everything's kind of gross i thought that maybe like he would have like done something like you know stick the gun up his ass or something like that or whatever but it was just like they just shot it from outside you see blood hit the windshield but 
The movie well, was made. Dude, in five days. He tried to fucking fuck the turkey in the ass. I, I know, I know. But that would have been better if he tried to yeah. fuck him, shoot him in the ass. Yeah. So, um, and then the football player just goes back to uh, the other ones and acts like nothing ever fucking. He's acting happened like at nothing all. happened, you know. And then the uh, the the slutty girl is having sex with a random guy, and they're both fully clothed. Yeah, that's that's what I was saying. I was like, why couldn't they like? I understand maybe like the underwear part for the guys. Maybe some yeah. guys fucking have sex in their underwear. That's the reason why there's a hole there. I mean, yeah. it's like really, I don't think that's but, the reason that there's a hole there. But I sure. don't think what, what is it to piss for? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but, but 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 like Sometimes you could have like take it out for air. <laughs> you know, but you could have just they could have took off her pants. Like, she has a skirt on, yeah. whatever, but she could have, like, been least in, like, some panties. Or, like, if you're going to do what you're doing and she doesn't want to be, like, fully nude and stuff, mm-hmm. you could just be, have her in, like, maybe a thong or maybe yeah. have her, like, you know, or naked and then he's yeah. just showing. Or here's a better thing. Have her on top of you. Like, would, Well, no, because then you couldn't do the kill the way that it was. She would have known. Because yeah. I did uh, the Black Friday trailer that's on this, uh, on the Schlock and All page. We have a scene that's kind of similar where I'm behind the actress and I get my head cut off. And when she turns around, I'm still thrusting, but my head is gone. Um, and they cut, they do that in this where he strangles the dude or cuts his throat and then gets on and then is behind the girl and he's fucking her. And I'm just like, imagine that day where this girl who wants to be an actress has a turkey puppet like pretending to fuck her yeah it's um, behind. and then he just so just so they can get the line in there that uh you've been stuffed and then he kills her how do you kill her i don't know how he killed her. i don't, I don't remember he, either i don't now, think yeah. he uh i don't think he uh killed her like in a he did kind of like an off-screen type of okay kill. he off-screen her to uh, death <laughs> yeah because it was like the i don't know what the weirdest thing was what i thought with though is it sounds fucked up to say this but I remember how she says after he kills him and he's like, you damn, you finish fast. And I was like thinking in my head, I was like, like how you said you cut him off, but your body mm-hmm. kept going and stuff. He would have kept going. He still would have been hard. <laughs> yeah, know? exactly. It's like clerks, the bathroom, you know, you were like, uh, fuck. There was a, there was another movie actually that, uh, f- it was a, it was another movie or like a show that I watched where one of the nurses got pregnant from the dead guy who was very hot. <laughs> yeah, wow. like that's how she got pregnant from because he was he had a or he had a boner and he was dead when she was gonna go do oh, his that autopsy. Was a special victims unit episode. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. It's like fucking. She got pregnant. Oh, how'd you get pregnant from the dead man? <laughs> yeah, and that the actor uh, who was the dead guy was in like basketball. He was in the uh, Magnificent Seven. Um, he was in uh, uh, Battle Beyond the Stars, the Roger Corman movie. Um, so the, the, our three remaining or our four remaining characters are around. The fat guy walks away and finds a ghost turkey, and he eats the ghost turkey. Well, hold up, you're, hold up, you're missing though a couple scenes though. You're what missing, am I missing? You're missing. You're so you're going full fast. They they go into the after that after like uh the, like he goes to the fat guy's dad's house mm-hmm. and then they they everybody's there. They're trying to get her to fucking answer, but she's not yeah. answering because she's fucking dead. But what happens is they go to their her dad's house because they're thinking mm-hmm. because the library is fucking because they go to her house after after they leave the fat guy's house You're find right, that she's yeah. dead show the condom that's the fucking mm-hmm. you know the what, what was it the gravy flavored gravy flavored condom yeah then they say let's go to my dad's house he has books a bunch of books and everything then it shows uh what happens at the before i don't know if this happens before this or mm-hmm. if it shows like whatever and stuff but the where the turkey comes in as the midget that's the, right he okay, comes so the turkey's the turkey's wearing Groucho Marx glasses and nose. Yes. Goes into the the her the, the police officer dad's house, and the dad doesn't realize that it's a turkey. He just thinks it's a little person and has a full conversation with the turkey as if it's just her friend. And I, I was like, everyone in this movie is too stupid to actually live. Even if the turkey didn't come along, 
they would probably forget how to breathe or something like <laughs> they're a fucking he, the fucking fat guy would have fell down a well or something <laughs> yeah, like, fucking just something stupid the funniest thing though about the fat guy i feel like he had the best acting out of everybody yeah. like he just like like if anybody could have an acting career after this mm-hmm. shit fucking movie i was like <laughs> it'd probably be the fat guy like if yeah. i saw him on the blue whatever the fuck it was it the blue moon or blue mm-hmm. whatever like that college fucking shit yeah the college movie or show oh, or yeah. something uh what the fuck was that that called uh they're at that fucking university and stuff. Yeah, I know it's what like, you're talking about. I like, like I could I could see him showing up being varsity like varsity like, blues. Yeah, varsity blues. Yeah. I could see him randomly showing up and you know being like, "What's going on, Troy?" Yeah, <laughs> you know he looks I mean? like the off-brand Ethan Suppley. The dude yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. Um. So. So that even the turkey looks at the camera and is like, "Can you fucking believe how stupid these people are?" So fat guy goes out. That's when he finds the ghost turkey. Well, hold on, hold on, dude, hold on. You're missing some things though. What am missing I missing? Out. Okay. Yeah, so because I know that there was one that was about like top a top, maybe, or or something like that. And then there was one where Jerry O'Connell played Ralphie, and there's like been a bunch of like it's the, yeah. That's what the one thing is weirded out. I said to my friend, I was like, there was one years ago. It was called mm-hmm. Christmas Story 2. The, yeah. the, the funniest thing though is that like those two other movies that you just said about mm-hmm. is they're out. They're out of the universe, I guess. But there was <laughs> the extended Ralphie yeah, universe. The Ralphie yeah, universe. Um, yeah, Charles Grodin was the dad in one of them, and um, um uh, the Mary Steenburgen from like Step Brothers and Back to the Future Three was the mom in one of them. But the original kid uh, was was producer. It was, he was he was John Favreau's producer, so he's in Iron Man as mm-hmm. the guy who who. Uh, that he yells at, he's like, Tony Stark built this with scraps in a cave. That's Peter Billingsley. Um, yeah. He was also in a movie called The Great Hoboken Chicken Massacre or something, where like it was like a kid's movie about like a giant chicken. Yeah, there was something else that he was in. I don't know if he was in the technically the, Chris, the Christmas story too that they saw. I don't think he was, of, but I didn't know I, he was coming back. Uh, oh, oh no. I think he is. I don't know if I'm wrong or if it's another movie he was in. Oh, no, 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 no. That I know where he's from. He is an elf in the elf movie. He is one of the elves in the elf movie. Yeah, okay. he's the one yeah, yeah, with yeah. the hat and the glasses. Yeah, because yeah. John Favreau directed it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, so he's in that. And then he's also in Spider Man, uh, no, uh, uh, not No Way Home, uh, Far From Home, because he's the, yeah. he plays he's that character. Of, he's one of Mysterio's guys. Yeah, he plays the same character from Iron Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right. um, but yeah, so he, they're bringing him back. Is he bald? I don't. I mean, yeah, I think so. Yeah, well, he has hair in this one. Well, I mean, that's like the same thing. Did you know that the Spider Man uh, Ned um, doesn't have hair? Really? Spider- yeah, he's bald. Hmm. He is very bald. I didn't know him because I followed him on Instagram, and it's a picture of like them. It was a at the time. It was a picture of uh, them like in the pool or something with all of them yeah. hanging out and stuff. And I hit it, and then um, I followed him, and he has all like this, you know, posing pictures with whatever with girls yeah. on whatever and stuff, and he's bald. Yeah, he's fucking bald. I was like, but I guess if you have enough money, you could get like well, a did good you, wig or like hair, the, like where they they poke the things into your head. You could do that, or you could. Um, there's a new thing that are like I thought I was like I was like, damn, I was like I, I would get that. Um, <laughs> it's a new thing that's like it. What it does is if you have hair on the sides, like your your style, mm-hmm. you want everything. Yeah. Keep your hair here. It doesn't matter if you're like thinning or whatever up yeah. here. If you have up hair up there and you think you just want more or something, mm-hmm. you shave it all off right here, and then they you put some glue on this right here, and then you slap it on your head. There's a scalp. It's not like a toupee. It's like a scalp. It's it's real human hair. Really. Yeah, it's real human hair. It's a scalp and everything. Like you could pull, like you could see like skin and stuff with yeah. it. And um, in it, it, you can go. You can take a shower with it. You can shampoo the hair. You can go swimming in it, and it lasts like over two weeks. And then you wow. just put it back, and then you just scrape. You know, just clean whenever it I think of that, and then you ever see Goodfellas? Yes, the guy who sells the wigs jumping <laughs> into the pool. Like that's what that reminded me of. Well, good to know. If I if I ever go bald, I'll uh, uh I'll listen. Look into I, that. I, I know what you. I know what you. I know what you I don't know what you're talking about. I'd I'd want to I'd want to I'd want to have that. <laughs> I was like, listen, I'm like I I just I just shaved my head now, so it's like mm-hmm. I I, like, I have hair, but I'm how do I say this? It it doesn't look bad if I have a certain haircut or anything. Not mm-hmm. like buzz if like, like I have like a certain haircut and yeah. stuff. But it's like I'm that person that's like 
Like, I could show you a picture of me with my hair if I grow it mm. out. And you'll be like, you have hair, dude. Like, what the yeah. fuck are you talking about? You just have to style it a certain way. And I'm like, nah, I'm not being that motherfucker. I'm not doing mm. it. Because there's a guy at my local Walmart that has, like, a fucking, has, like, a couple little hairs here. Like, up, like, literally at the top of yeah. his fucking head. And it's like, you're trying, it looks like he used to do a mohawk, but it's gotten worse <laughs> and worse and worse. <laughs> Where it's like, it's literally, like, this much of his hair is on the top of his head right mm -hmm. in front of you. And I'm, like, looking at him, and I literally looked at him in his face, and I said, you know, it's time, man. He's like, time for what? And I said, it's time to let it go. Time yeah. for what to let it go? I said, just, and he's like, you're, excuse me? And I'm like, no, I'm going to be very honest with you. No, you're it looks, really it looks, when you, when you look like RoboCop without his, his visor on. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. you know? yeah. yeah, it's it's the only time that you can do because like I can do like ah fuck I'm not as worse. Have you ever seen the guy who plays the new Dumbledore? I've never seen a single Harry Potter movie. You haven't? Okay, oh wait, have he's uh, Jude Law. He played. You ever watched the movie Love? Actually, like the 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 Christmas Love movie. Yeah, with, Love Actually. Yeah, Love Actually. You know the <laughs> British dude. My yeah, hair, well, they're I can, all British. Yeah, so, well, no, Jack Black is not British. <laughs> Cameron Diaz Jack Black's is not in Love Actually. Oh, no, not Love Actually, then. It's yeah. the Christmas movie where Cameron Diaz and another girl swap places. And they, oh, swap, I don't know they, they go one. to a... Um, I'm trying to think what the fuck his name is and stuff, but he plays Dumbledore in the movie, and he okay. has, like, hair, like, right here. You probably mm -hmm. see him in other movies and everything. Yeah. He has, like, hair right here, and he has the long hair. Like, mm -hmm. I can grow that out and slick it back. I have more yeah. hair than him and stuff, but it's just, like, I'm not doing that. I'm, like, maybe when I'm older, I'll do it. Like, at his age, at, like, yeah. a, at like 40, I would do that. But in my early 20s, I'm not going to do that. It's, 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 I, I got my hair burnt. I know yeah, it's yeah. because my brother, ha my one brother has hair, the other brother has hair. And they're, mm -hmm. like, you're just going bald. And I'm like, no, dude, when I got my hair bleached the one time, the bitch fucked it up and I had <laughs> like, I had chemical burns on my head yeah. where all my hair was gone. Like it doesn't like it doesn't they, grow like this. It doesn't grow like that. No, mm -hmm. I have more hair on this side than I do on that side because it was those are the parts that are scarred on the top yeah. of my head. No, like, I they did that to me when they made me dye my hair for uh unbreakable and I got chemical burns or I don't know what it was from that. But no, when I when I was going through chemo all my hair fell out and it was like chunky and I tried to do like the comb over thing and I was just like fuck so as soon as I I could grow it back I grew it like super long and this is the longest it's been probably since like 2017 where's but it was mustache? like where's the mustache huh? where's the mustache no I need to shave I gotta sh I, I have I've just been hanging out when I'm not working and uh, I'm just like, fuck, I don't feel like shaving, you know? Why I got rid of the sideburns. You, why don't you grow it out, man? Because I, I can't, because it comes in all white trashy and it doesn't connect properly. So I, I'd rather not look like Joe Dirt. See, listen, it can't, <laughs> you think, what do you think would happen with my beard when I first started growing it out well, and you're stuff? Getting, you're getting to the, you know, no fly list looking beard. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I literally just got my hair buzzed mm -hmm. and I just got a haircut. It was like the whole way down here. And it was like all out and stuff. I mean, I was in high school. I was yeah. the weird. I was like the weirdest kid with like skateboarding companies because mm -hmm. like they would come up to me and I'd have like the Joker hair color, like different yeah. colors in my hair, and that's why I bleached it. And I'd mm -hmm. have that, but then I'd also have fucking Duck Dynasty beard. So it was like they were like, "He's what?" He's like, "Hold on, that's the person <laughs> who rides for fucking Nike." What? What? That's another like... thing. The, the fat guy in Thanks Killing reminded me of a dude who's a juggalo out of juggalo makeup. <laughs> Like <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he looks like he's at his own his like this is what he looks like at home because yeah. he can't he can't he he's the person that lies about he listens to that music he's exactly. like he's like he, has, he's, he covers his hatchet man tattoo yeah, well yeah he well no no that would be that would have been funny if they gave him a hatchet yeah. man tattoo because he had no sleep but Such it was a turkey white. with the hatchet that went missing so that's thanks killing uh, I hope you have a good Thanksgiving. Thank you for coming on and thank you for having me on your channel. And we'll do, we'll do some more of these. And uh, it's, on um, your, it's, on, it's on your channel. I know, but I was on your channel twice already. Oh, so yeah. you're on well, my channel now. Listen, you, and it's funny though. A really sucky part about this, the guy is like anybody who, who ever listened to my video with him and stuff. We had about like, what was it? Like two or three that got fucked up. <laughs> that, yeah, like, did no, it, we did recorded, it. we recorded for like two and a half hours the one night. And uh, and we, we wound up losing all of it. But that's all right. We got more time to do these and stuff like that. Uh, so everybody who's watching, I hope you have a good Thanksgiving um, or Canadian Thanksgiving is different. So when that comes up, go and enjoy that. Uh, it already happened. I uh, did it? All right. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, go check it. Tell people where they can find your video. 
you can find my video at um mad customs on youtube or if you look up if you look up new it will come up and everything that is um, true that's how it, that's how the cinemask of truth found it I, I, see you gotta just uh, the what <laughs> yeah the reddit group that hates oh, me. oh yeah. okay if yeah, you yeah. look up if you look up new it's 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 new it's newt wallen mm -hmm. live in pittsburgh is what our our other one is and, yeah. and our live one and then um there's the other video you can watch and everything mm -hmm. um just click onto the channel it's there probably gonna do more things with him and then i'll be doing a bunch of other things like i do you know i'm gonna be doing more movie reviews and stuff whenever i can get a chance and then we'll be seeing if i'm gonna be doing a lot of uh interviews with uh some skaters and stuff and everything because yeah, uh because awesome, i'm man. i still have everybody in my contacts so uh mm -hmm. you know it's, it's like i call people and i'm like you want to do something for like three hours when you're not bored and they're like yeah you get on a zoom call <laughs> yeah. if we can like, figure out zoom we were having problems tonight oh uh, it's uh, well, we gotta pay for it now i gotta pay yeah, I twenty dollars a month crazy. for it you know so <laughs> all right well like share and subscribe go check out uh his videos and uh we will see you next time Peace, guys. Happy holidays. <laughs> yeah, happy holidays. All right. See ya. Nice.